Pepe here with bestmoringatrees.com. I'm going to show you some of these moringa trees that we have growing in containers uh, because you can grow these in containers and you can do quite well. First off, let me show you uh, one of the moringa trees here. Here's one that has uh, already some drumsticks developing. You can see the drumsticks developing right over here. Okay. Now, this is what the leaves look like and this is what the flowers look like. And this guy's been growing in a seven gallon pot. But I'm going to back up a little bit. You can see it's a pretty tall tree. And it's doing quite well. It's growing quite rapidly. This guy over here, much shorter, huh? Well, I cut him. I cut him, and you should cut your moringa trees as much as you can. Harvest all of the leaves that you can. Get the most productivity out of the tree. And then, you know, let it grow some more, and then let it become bushy, and then go ahead and let it set some flowers and some pods. So one of the important things to realize is when you cut your moringa tree, when you do the pruning, do the pruning just, just above there. Okay, this one, we kind of were in a hurry. We, we pruned it a little higher than we should have, but it'll be fine. If you prune much higher than this, what happens is this begins to rot really bad. But anywhere in this zone right here, between just around, just above that little crotch right there, just a little above that crotch would have been the ideal place to, to prune it. But nevertheless, moringas are pretty tough plants. So we pruned it. It's going to be, notice it's going to be a little bit hollow in there, but it fills in real fast. And sometimes you'll get, it fills in really quick. And sometimes you'll see a little gummy, a little gumminess that comes out that, that, that uh, fills, the, fills the void. So you can see there. But uh, there's, no, there's no disease problems there. And that's already dry and it's doing great. So here we have new growth here. We have nice growth here. We have nice growth here. I mean, look at the leaves on this thing. This is this okay. thing's beautiful. So your moringa trees, you definitely want to prune them and you want to keep them compact, especially if you grow in a container and you don't have a lot of room. Grow a couple of trees. And this was cut compact. about three weeks ago. So this is about three weeks after it was cut. And um, just to give you an idea, let me walk over here. I'm going to show you what we did because some people think it's really crazy. It's too drastic. Oh, you shouldn't do this. Let's take a look over here. Let's grab uh, let's grab this guy and let's grab this guy actually. Okay. All right, check this out. I bring this moringa tree right over here. Okay, look at this. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's got a big Y in it, and people don't like that because it splits and everything else. No big deal, okay? Um, what I could do here is I could just, uh, I could cut right here if I want to. Right here, at 45. Notice where I cut here, right above the node at 45. This actually was already cut or it broke off, who knows. From here, in about a week, you're going to see growth. You're going to see growth here. You're going to see growth here. You're going to see growth here. You're going to see growth possibly multiple places down along here. Okay? Along this the plant needs very little water, especially now that it has no leaves. Very, very, very little water. You do not want to overwater your moringa at any time, but you really want to be cautious about water when you have a tree like this that has no leaves. Let's look at this one. This one is a real nice tree in a seven gallon pot and it has some drumsticks going on it. They're kind of small, but again, this is still developing and this tree is um, growing in a container. If these trees were planted in a field, um, these pods would be much larger, okay? This is our Organic Thrive compost tea. Uh, great stuff. Really, really good stuff. If you want to give some organic boost to the soil, um, this is amazing. Um, does good things for your for your plants. Uh, we like to use it when we start seeds. Uh, we like to mix it with water, uh, and then we take the seeds. This is a batch of PKM1 seeds. Basically, I put these in here about an hour ago. I'm going to let these seeds sit here uh, overnight to soak up some water, and then tomorrow we'll be planting these seeds. And um, these came in directly from India. Let's go take a quick walk over here. Hold on a second. I'm going to show you uh, a little one. Hey, there you see my feet. I got feet. Peppy has feet. Okay, we're going to go over here and we're going to look at this guy. This, this is going to happen a lot. You're going to get a little bit of yellowing on some of the leaves. It just happens. The things grow so fast that they just, they just get, you know, drop off leaves and they keep going. Uh, this is in a nice loamy, a little bit sandy Let me mix. bring them back over there. Let's take them back over there. You guys having fun yet? I hope you are. 
Hope you subscribe to the channel. Also visit my website, bestmoringatrees.com. All right, check it out. Isn't that beauty? Okay, Moringa Olifera. You could have a little one like this too. Okay, now you want to keep it bushy and you don't even want to have to prune it, you can pinch it. Okay, so here we go. See this here? Nice and tender. Here's another one. Okay, you want to keep it bushy? Just come over here, pinch that off. See what I did? Pinch that off and you can eat that. Let's go ahead, kind of a little bit on the spicy side. You don't want to eat too much at once because if you're not used to it, uh, you're going to get like a little bit of a burning peppery sensation in your mouth. But uh, good for you, man. Really, really good for you. Very healthy, very nutritious, as you already know. If you've been watching these uh, videos or going all over the internet searching for information about Moringa. Uh, here's another one we can do here. We can pinch this guy off over here. See? Pinched him off. That's going to force it to get bushier. Okay? What I also like to do is I, I like to look at some of the branches that are crisscrossing. See, like here, this guy. I'll take him off. I'll take him off down here, see? I want to open up the canopy a little bit so that I don't have a whole bunch of branches growing inside. I want this thing to grow outwards, okay? Do you like those special effects? Outwards. We're going to look at another cool, Moringa right. tree. Right. This one's going to be an African Moringa. The one we've been talking about is from the foothills of the Himalayan mountains. Look at this baby. This guy is about six months old. And look at how little he is. This guy is six months old and look at how little he is. Or she is. Or it is. Whatever you want to call it. The point is this is Moringa stenopatala. Moringa stenopatala is known as the African Moringa. And you know what? This is a really pretty little tree. It's cute. But it's slow. Slow growing. And it's going to take about three years before this son of a gun produces any flowers or any pods. Now, it's reputably, reputedly this particular variety tastes better. Uh, I've tasted it. I don't think it tastes better. I think it tastes about the same, but that's just me. People say they taste better. But you know what? Look at it. It's real nice. Now, the thing about the Moringa Stenopatala is that it's going to be more of a big bottle. It's going to have, see it's swelling down here? It's going to be a big, kind of like a bottle type base to the trunk as opposed to a well, see how well rooted Moringa is in there. I think he's really well rooted. What do you think? Okay, so the root system is doing really well and the tree is doing really well. How about this guy? Let's try him. When did I plant him? He was on the 9th. Okay. He's also very well rooted in there. Okay. Actually, I think these Moringa stenopataluses look more beautiful, even though they're smaller than Moringa oleifera. Now here, we have one, this one's in the hospital. This one's in the hospital because it fell down and it broke. And uh, what we did is, I don't know why, but this particular guy here, he, he's always kind of scrawny. He was the runt of the litter, so to speak. And um, what happened was he was busted right here. So what I did is I put a bamboo stick in there and I took parafilm. Some of you guys that do grafting are familiar with parafilm. We just put a little parafilm on here and wrapped it all around like a splint so that uh, the tree can uh, heal itself here at the bark where it broke. And uh, looks like it's working fine. And we've got some, some new growth right here. And I have it tied up and I have the parafilm. And I actually had the parafilm all the way down here. Parafilm was down here and then he was, he was growing right through the parafilm. So I removed him. And I'll keep this in here for another two or three weeks and then I'll, I'll remove it and see what happens. Um, but he should do fine. I'm not pinching this guy. I'm not doing anything to this guy. This guy's, this guy's got some growing to do to catch up. But uh, that's Moringa Stenopatala. And there's two of them here. And I'm not kidding you. These guys are about six, seven months old. And some of the trees that I just showed you a few minutes ago, those trees are six or seven months. So the rate of growth on the other trees is obviously three times more, uh, three times quicker than these. And these are really, really, they were more challenging for me to get going from seed. They took longer. And like I said, I had a bird attack. So if you plant Moringa stenopatala, I mean, yeah, if you plant Moringa stenopatala seeds, they look like little white almonds. They look totally different than Moringa oleifera. So keep in mind that Apparently, now back the birds here, love them. these guys are cuttings. And we'll do a video about cuttings at some other time. But I've got a bunch of them growing over here. And this is a little bit of, a, uh, uh, of an interesting uh, topic, uh, doing these from cuttings. I'm going to leave you with uh, the last view here of the Moringa stenopatalis, the African Moringa. 
bestmoringatrees.com. Peppy from Peppy's Fruit Trees. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, evening, whatever. Enjoy. Have fun. Go out in the yard. Grow something.